All right, guys. So I'm out here, and we're going to knock out um, my underglow. All right. So it's right here. Now my plan is I have this. I think it's eighth inch by half inch. I do believe. Um, so I have that, and then I also have like a whole ten feet there. Um, and those will be used for the long ones. These are for the short ones. And what I'm gonna do is one of you guys suggested to use, I was gonna use like zip ties, but one of you guys recommended using like clear heat shrink tubing. Good idea. So I actually picked up some. Um, so yeah, we have a shit ton of shrink tubing. Um, and it's some big boy stuff. I think it's three quarter inch, something like that. Um, but yeah, so, Something kind of cool, not car related, but so we got a new couch, or I got a, we got a new used couch. Um, but yeah, so we burnt it next to that tree that's out here. Check this thing out. Is that not the coolest fucking thing you ever seen in your life? Probably shouldn't stand here because it could probably fall anytime soon. It's getting way down there. But yeah, that thing is really cool. All right, back to what the hell we're here to see, car stuff. Um, so yeah, so the game plan is I'm gonna put the light on and then I'm going to slide the shrink tubing over and obviously we're gonna shrink it down and on the ends I'm gonna use self tappers to attach it. That's the plan. Hopefully it works. Should be pretty cool. So yeah, I mean Hate me all you want for putting underglow on. We'll probably keep it on there for this year. I'll probably use it like three times. It's just the, something fun to do. So I want to do it. I've always wanted to put underglow on, so I'm going to do it. You know, I think I've earned that right. You know, you know, if you go out, you got a stock car and you put underglow on it, you should, you're probably going to get made fun of, okay? But, you know, if you modify your car, I think you should be able to, you know, do some ricey things. That's my justification for it, all right? Um, not like, but yeah. I want to do it, so we're going to do it, you know? And I think you should apply the same thing. If you want to do something, do it. But you're obviously going to get a shit ton of crap on for them. It, you know, not everyone's going to be a fan of it, which, honestly, that's how the whole car culture is anyhow, so it doesn't really matter. Do what you want. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to start with these two, and then I'll show you what we did. So... Let me be right back. Okay, so we got that out. Um, I went ahead and so okay, I'm trying to decide how I want to tell you guys this, but um, okay, so we'll start here. This plugs into the module, comes up, it divides. All right, and then we'll start with going to the back. All right, so I have this side ran up here. And along with it was ran for the back light, which is this one. All right, so that's the back light. This is the passenger side skirt. All right, and then we're back at here. And it comes off of here, goes across, and then goes up that side skirt. So that side skirt's wire is ran in with this one as well. Um, yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I need to put a bulkhead and run the guy that's gonna attach to here through. And then we'll be good to go to make sure I didn't fuck up anything by heating it up. So let's do that. You can tell by the disco in here. They work. So there'll be the front, the side skirts, and then the back. So now we get to do the fun part and put them underneath. I'm not sure of how I plan to do this, but, I mean, well, self-tappers. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any big self-tappers left. All we got is these little dinky little guys. So hopefully they will work. And then, obviously, I'll come back and just use some bigger ones. Um, but, uh, yeah, so now we need to jack up the car so I can get underneath there and figure out where I'm going to actually screw these because I didn't really check. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty much just going to put them right through the floor. Yeah, let's just get to it. Okay, so it's white, but it looks purple. Um, I actually used it as my light. 
So I have it mounted into the actual plastic of the side skirt um, with some self tappers. Hopefully they hold up and if they don't, well, oh well. I might actually do like uh, zip ties on them as well to wrap around them. But uh, yeah, so that one's there. And then the other one is actually further back than I really cared for, but it's angled to shine back that way. And I think it works the best. Um, I really didn't want to attach it to the cradle, plus it was too wide for the cradle, so that wouldn't have worked. Um, this side is also attached to the side skirt, and the front is attached to the front bumper. Kind of the same fashion. Just gotta squeeze around here as the side skirts. All right, it's just literally to the bumper. Um, I will probably be doing zip ties on this one as well, especially this one. Um, but yeah, there it is. Let's go kill the lights. I can't change it, the color without um, can't really change the color without it. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, but yeah, here one second. All right. So I have it set to just kind of go through all the colors. Um, works pretty good. I guess we might as well turn on the lights. Where are you at? I know you're in here. There it is. So yeah, that should work pretty good. Looks really cool. I'm happy with it. Should definitely get the job. Okay, well the GPS was trying to connect with the Bluetooth, so I don't know where it stopped, so here's what she looks like. Looks cool. I'm excited. Um, but yeah, you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.